Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Before we kick things off again in this episode, I just want to show you that Mario actually has bean trousers now. There are actually badges and overalls that you can buy, or I guess clothing, um, that kind of serves the same purpose as badges, except clothing usually does HP and defense, whereas badges does BP and attack power. So that's kind of the general trend of the game. And some things have additional effects too, but even look at Luigi. He also has the P badge, I didn't leave him out, and the blue jeans too, which is quite an expensive item. I had to sell a few mushrooms to get uh, enough coins to be able to buy it. Um, I also did a few extra enemy battles and did a few stuff, so uh, nothing major, but um, that, that would be why my HP amounts, or not my HP, my experience is a little different, and also my amount of coins. But I didn't want to bore you guys with the sharpening. The sharpening. The shopping. I said that because of these sharpies here. Uh, they act actually pronounce sharpies. I think I made the mistake of calling them sharpies. But you people were so quick to point that out in the comments. So thanks a lot for pointing out all of my faults. I really appreciate it. Anyway, these guys are para beanies, para goomba wannabes. If you jump on them once, they will lose their wings. But ow! They do a ton of damage. They do like eight damage. And I think their other attack does about 10 damage, so these guys, they don't look like it, but they're a force to be reckoned with, so you gotta watch out for para beanies. Luckily when they fall on the ground, they have the same stats as a normal beanie, so nothing to worry about at that point in the game. Anyway, in case you guys are wondering where we're going, oh wait, let me fight this guy first before I say that. Uh, but look at this, sharpies don't even pose a threat about it. First of all, they can't even hit me. And second of all, they just die in one hit. Look at that. Don't even need the action command. I'll just use the stick to take him out. Hit him with a stick. So, we're gonna go on this bridge and continue over this way. So yeah, in case you guys are wondering where we're going, let me show you the map. We are going to Chuckle Huck Woods, which is where we have to get Chocola Cola to heal uh, Queen Bean. Which, by the way, the Queen Bean battle, I sucked at the Queen Bean battle. Like, that was awful. I mean, I was kind of unprepared at the same time, but... That, I, I don't know. I should have done much better on that. And I'm pressing start when I need to press select to switch to... No, 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 no. Spin jump. Stop. Damn it. <laughs> I'm still gonna get used to the controls. Spin. Oh, you stupid friggin' parabini. Why'd you have to do that? That's stupid. Anyway, so yeah, we have to go to uh, Chuckle Huck Woods to get the Chocola Cola. I don't know. Chuckle Huck Woods kind of my least favorite area in the game in terms of major dungeons, but first I want to show up the Advanced Bounce Bros. We got this in the Queen Bean battle when Mario and Luigi had that little conversation, and Advanced Bros move is just a little variation on the original Bros move. It actually has a completely different effect too, so uh, you'll see Advanced Bounce Bros in slow motion. Instead of pressing B there, you press A, B, and then you can press B there and A there. So that actually damages both enemies. Uh, you actually, um, to get advanced commands, you just have to perform the bro bros attack successfully multiple times at level th Actually, I'm not sure if it has to be at level 3, or if, uh, like, level 3 uses count more points or contribute more towards you getting them than level 1, but I find that using level 3 makes it a little faster, and I meant to switch again, but a lot of uh, le advanced bros moves can have some interesting effects like that. Now this cutscene I actually accidentally skipped in my little, uh, you know, enemy farming and whatnot. I forgot that this was an, a little cutscene, but you show the Queen Bean brooch or whatever she gave us, some stupid item, and they, they let us through that gate. So I guess that's just to prevent us from going there early. But the reason they have it gated off is because of ecology or something. They're like, this area is closed for an ecology s study or something. Screw that shit. I want to get in the air. Anyway. Let's heal up, because this looks kind of important. It's a big building area. And there's an X item. Remember that. X item. There it is. So, before we go to Chuckle Huck Woods, this is the Chateau de Chuckle Huck in French, because Polyvaux Francais and fine wine and brie cheese and Eiffel Towers and romance and curly mustaches and French things. Other French things. I don't know. I'm not French at all. I'm, I'm an Italian guy, so I don't know. But this is the brewing process for Chocola Cola. First, we need the uh, Chocola fruit and then put it in syrup, and that seems kind of normal until this. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it laughs. 
I'm not- I didn't make it up. It's in the game. And bear in mind that both the fruit and jokes will expect- Ugh, that's so stupid. Come on. Like, really? But, oh well. Actually, fun fact, all of the areas- Well, I may not- Is it all the areas? Maybe. Most of the areas. And, uh, items are named after laughter. After laughter. Try saying that five times fast. But, oh, another X item. Although well, it doesn't explicitly have an X. Still, gotta keep that one in mind. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can just enter this room and sense. It's a maze game, except the kind of maze I don't like. Well, the Incredible Maze is really the kind of maze I don't like. That game. I've never been more angry at a game. Like, legitimately angry at it. Not frustrated, or just, just angry at how poor quality it was. But I hate these kind of mazes where you can't see where you're going. Where you're going, rather. But I seem to be doing pretty well so far. Uh, where are we going? This way? No. That's a, that looks like a dead end. Uh, I don't think there's many dead ends in here, but this kind of looks like one. So let's try the other way, maybe? Can I go up? Uh, oh, I can. Alright, this is good. This is good. I will continue this way. I think I'm getting towards the end. See, so you exit the screen right up there. So yeah, I'm getting kind of towards the end. Um, so, oh, look at that. It's the end. It's right there. It's taunting me. And there we go. Uh, whoa! What happened to Luigi? What the? What? That? That's not Luigi at all. What? Oh, there he is. But then, who the hell was that? What? I'm confused. I am very confused as to what just happened. Let's find that out. But again, that looks kind of important. So we should probably heal up before this. Oh, we already healed. Well, that's convenient. Well, I'll still restore some bros points anyway, because that still seems like a good idea. Yeah, syrups. We have plenty of syrups to go around. So. Yeah, not to spoil things, but we do have a pretty major battle coming up in the next screen. Oh, Boo Blast Crimey, the famous Shadow Thief Popple had been caught in full sight, as opposed to half sight. And yes, this is Popple. Popple makes funny faces. He talks funny. A lot of characters in this game talk funny. I don't know why, but um, he's going to call in Rookie to help battle with him, I guess, or to fight these guys. I mean, look at his size. He's kind of short, so I can't imagine this Rookie would be anything. Oh, my God. Is that Bowser? Bowser? It's Bowser! That's Wizardheimer! No, it's actually Rookie. Not Bowser at all. Uh, it, but it looks like Bowser. It has the Bowser music. Uh, he has a big shell, and he has Bowser's sprite with a mask. But anyway, look at that face. Extreme anime faces. Extreme anime faces. Look at that, yeah. This guy is crazy. Popple. He's a thief. He's gonna be a recurring character in this game. Not to spoil anything, although I kinda just did. But, first, we have to battle him right here. Popple and Rookie. So Popple's pretty fast, being a thief. Uh, but his attacks are pretty easy to dodge, and it's very important to dodge Popple's attacks, because if you don't, he'll actually steal an item or do some pretty good damage, so you gotta watch out for that. And he'll use that item to either heal himself or rookie, so yeah, not a good idea. Anyway, if you actually attack Popple here, it'll cause a counter attack by rookie. So, you know, obviously, unless you wanna be hit by hammers every time you attack Popple, which you could, uh, it would definitely be best to attack rookie first. And that also applies to multi hit moves, like now we have uh, advanced bounce bros which hits both targets, so that would also prompt a counterattack, even though it did hit Rookie. So, just a little advice in this, ba in this battle. And also, Rookie's now like, I'm throwing hammers! Which I find pretty funny. But look at that, doesn't that look like Bowser? How can it not be Bowser? I don't know. So yeah, see? Oh, I screwed up the advance. Although I guess that's probably good, because um, otherwise it would have prompted a counterattack. So let's try Splash Bros. We really do have to get our level 3 Splash Bros. Or, not our level 3, our advanced Splash Bros. So, we'll see what happens. That would be really nice to get. Um, from what I hear, if you get the... Oh, God. If you get <laughs> if you get the advanced... Damn it! Stop doing that! If you get the advanced Splash Bros before the Queen Bean fight, it makes it really easy. Which is great, because I definitely, definitely would need help on that fight next time around. That was... That was awful. I mean, once I got back on track, it was fine, but I was just totally unprepared for that, and I forgot exactly how hard that battle was. But anyway, this is this is a new battle, a new day. And this guy says, for some reason, it makes my gut flare up. Oh, that's fire. Hello. That was spicy. That's a spicy meatball. 
Hey, stop that. So now he spits fire. Great. <laughs> Just what we need. Someone other than Bowser who spits fire. I mean, this clearly is not the same character as Bowser. Clearly. Also, you can tell which character Pop will attack because of his face. If he makes like a little strange grin, he'll attack Luigi. If not, he'll attack Mario. Um, I also love the music in this battle. Uh, this is the, obviously, ow, that does a lot of damage. The Popple battle theme. And it's some of the best boss music in the game, I think. Uh, you know, you know, it's it's awesome. So enjoy it while it lasts. And, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, damn it. Popple stole a mushroom. Crap, that sucks. So let's see if we can take out Rookie before Popple has a chance to use that mushroom, because that would really help. Damn it, oh, that's not going to do any good. Although, I guess maybe it will, because nine damage seemed to be all that we needed to take care of Rookie. And he, he just explodes. I love how all the bosses in this game just explode. They don't they don't just die, they explode. Which is hilarious. It's hilarious. Anyway, going for Luigi. No, oh, damn it. I forgot he, he kind of just rushes in that time. Is he going to run away? Ah, oh, what a little baby. Pansy. But we got a 1-up. Desperately need some 1-ups. Experience and level 11. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Oh, my, I got a pretty nice boost of attack power there. And I think I'm going to level up some defense, because Mario does need some defense a little bit. Two! We've liked one of those fours, but that's alright. I will like Luigi level 10, though. That sounds like a good idea, too. Here we go. Uh, Luigi's BP is a little low. I think I'm going to take care of that. Come on, something good, something good. Four! Now that's what I'm talking about. That is a good stat in Grits. Gah, <laughs> Rookie, you bloated idiot. Who took you in when you were dazed and lost on the mountain? Me, you worthless vermin. Vermin! I'm so ashamed. Meh. I don't care. I love meh. <laughs> How many characters actually say meh in a game? I guess Popple. So, I, I can imagine that we'll be seeing them later. Anyway, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly from my last playthrough of this, there is a hidden item in this room. And I'm going to grab it because I'm very, very interested in getting these hidden items. Um, yeah, I think we have to jump up here, and then jump up there, and then spin jump to that crate. That's a tough spin jump. And then spin jump to the corner up there, and... Aha! I was right. I like being right. I'm always right. Well, maybe not always. But, when I am right, it's always a great thing. So let's grab some coins. I like that. The sound of money. And a super syrup, an upgraded version of the syrup. Unfortunately, it's not like maple syrup and then jam and jelly like in Paper Mario. It's kind of a little less original and a super nut. That's pretty good, too. So in here we have a save album. So we might as well save after that battle. Yeah, you can see that my last save was in Chateau de Chocolhuck, which was uh, from, you know, fighting enemies and doing random stuff. Nothing really to advance the plot, though, other than that cutscene that I skipped. Anyway, let's break this battle to reveal two people wearing a powdered wig. It's in the game. I'm not making this up. You would swear that I'm making this up, but I'm not. I'm not. Ugh. I, I'm not even gonna try to read that. That... Look at that. How can I... How can I even attempt to read that? I mean, I can handle Salvatore from Wind Waker, but that is extreme accent. Alright, if you really want me to try... This is Cork and Cask, by the way. Uh, Cork is, I think, the bigger one, and Cask is the little one, unless... Or maybe it's switched. I don't know. Let's see. Z... Oh, no, I can't. I'm not even gonna try. The Ooh attacked us at. Oh, Evo, you do. I asked the Chocolo Reserve as well. Uh, I think that might be the end of my impression. Alright, let's try. Ah, uh, we. Oui. Mm, the problem is mm, whether or not the. Uh, no, no, I'm not even gonna. You know what? Screw it. Forget it. You can you can enjoy the French dialogue by yourself. I mean, if this was in Italian, I could do it. Nothing against the French because the French are awesome. But. Italy's better. Ha! Yeah, I said it. I went there. Anyway, we're showing off our little abilities right now. Damn straight, we're the Mario Bros. Who hasn't heard of the Mario Bros? Even in the Bean Bean Kingdom, people hear of the Mario Bros. But, yeah, that's right. I said Italy's better than France. I did. And way better than Canada, too. Oh, Canada, don't even get me started. Like, what do you have up there? It's curling and bagged milk and, uh, like... Ugh, why would you ever want, like, Odin's back 33? That's like a poison up there in Canada. Ugh, kind of brings you down big time. Although, from what I hear, he's a professional bag milk drinker and maple syrup pourer. Because that's what they do in Canada. Those are actual sports. Anyway, um, 
Corkin cask, which I'm kind of just completely ignoring this dialogue, is actually a very important dialogue because they teach us new hammer techniques that we can use on the overworld map. So we're going to press the L button. This choose your hammer. It's going to say hammer when I do that. L listen, it's going to say hammer. Hammer! Told you. Then press the B button to swing, just like before. You know, nothing new here. And whoa, it actually flattens the other character. So instead of them just getting pissed at you, it'll actually flatten them now. And yeah, they'll become micro size. So anyone in this size could fit in like little small holes and stuff. And you just hit them again and they'll become back, you know, back to normal. Don't ask me how it's video game logic. So let's go to Hammer and hit Mario. So now we have mini Mario on our team. That's pretty cool. I like that fact a lot. So maybe we should try to put him back to normal though. So Mini Mario obviously can get in little small holes in places that, uh, you know, normal sized characters can't fit. Um, now, the danger is when you wander off, well, I'll, I'll go into that a little later. I'll probably go into that in the next episode. Um, so let's just get through these uh, special moves right now. Mario's gonna say, Hammer! As always. Then press the B button to swing, just like before, and wow, he actually hits Luigi, like, underground. So Luigi doesn't get small, he, he actually just goes underground. Um, now, while underground, you cannot pass over metal gates, uh, but you can, or metal uh, floors, rather. But you can pop up, and this is how you get all those X items as well, hidden in the ground. Use this technique, so I don't have to worry about remembering them anymore. If I see one, I can just get it. Fantastic! Let's put the hammer techniques to the test. So, our little tr test tutorial training thing is to get two goblets in the next area. Uh, I don't think there's any hidden items up here, but we were going to take care of the hidden goblets, or not so hidden really, but anyway, we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. So this is Shadow Mario 41, we'll see you then, and you can go out with Mini Mario's little jumping noise. Isn't that great? 